And we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you another easy 3D text effect. We're going to use the long shadow filter for it. But let us first create a text. I use the type tool, left click on the canvas. Then I press Ctrl A to select it all and maybe I'll make it 500. I use Arial Heavy, it's in build, you should find it yourself. And you can change the color here, I'll stick to black. Let me use the alignment tool, I'll left click on it and then I align it relative to image in center. It's our starting point now. I right click on the sex layer, use alpha 2 selection. Now I go to select and use grow. I want to grow it by like 5 pixels. Let me zoom in and you can see this is going to grow our selection so that we can use it to create an outline. I'll create a new layer. I'll call it outline, but it's important that it's transparent. You can pick any name that you want. It's on top and it's active. And now you can see I've got black and white selected. I go to edit and use the background color, which is white in my case. Then I put this outline layer one level below the text. So the text is the black element on top. The outline is white behind it. I go to select none, go to the top layer and then I merge it. So both of my text layers, the outline and the black text are now on one layer. Now I go to filters, light and shadow and use long shadow. And here you can also see the outline, so the white one that we've created earlier. For composition I use shadow plus image and for style I use finite. Previous checked. You can change the color here. If your text isn't black, you may want to use the eyedropper tool here and then sample the color with a left click so that your long shadow has the same color as your text, which is important for the 3D effect in this case. You can adjust the angle right here. Let me go to around 35, 40 degrees. That should be fine. And the length, it determines how far this long shadow will go. I want to have in the P letter a little bit of white elements. This is going to add to the 3D illusion. I'm fine here, let me confirm it. We're basically done. Here's our white outline and then the black long shadow creates this 3D effect. You can see the bounding box is now bigger than the canvas, so you may want to realign it to center. Now what I also want to do here is to shear it a little bit. So I use the shear tool, left click on it, just a little bit. I confirm via shear. And now I use the rotate tool, left click on it and I rotate it slightly. And this is how you can create this 3D text effect in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.